Biggest Bear in Africa by Satomi Itikawa. My name is Mito. Here is the house where I live with my family and our animals, in a very small village in the middle of the African savanna. This morning, I hear the noise of a motor car coming towards us. Father, father, I say, we are going to have visitors. It is a family of tourists who have come to say hello to us. They must have come from far, far away. They don't speak our language and they wear so many clothes. And they watch us all the time from behind their photographic machines. I smile. They look funny. Mato, show your goat to the little girl, says my father. It looks like she loves animals too. It is true. The little girl also holds an animal in her arms. It is very small and has a bright red ribbon around its neck, just like the one the little girl has in her hair. I have never seen this kind of animal before. It is not from our savanna. After a very short visit, the family has to go. I feel sad that they were leaving. Goodbye, they yell to us from their car. Kwaheri, we call back to them. That means goodbye. But no, the girl has forgotten her little animal. Wait, I call and run after her. Wait, I have to catch up with them. I take a shortcut by the marshes. Hello, Meto, Kiboko, and Hippopotamus calls to me. Why are you carrying it in your arms? It looks like a beautiful little creature. Let me have it for my son. Oh no, Kiboko, I yell back. I do not stop to explain. A little farther away, Simba, a lion, is taking a nap with her family. I must be very quiet. I tiptoe. Wait, Simba roars. I smell a strange smell. Is there a new animal in my kingdom? I have no time to answer. The car is getting farther and farther away. Hello, Tembo, an elephant. You have big ears. Can you hear the car? Yes, Metal, but I also hear a young girl crying. Tembo points his long trunk to show the way. I must find her to give her little animal back to her. I have never seen anything like this animal, Tembo says. It comes from a country far, far away, but it has to go back with that little girl. Run, Metal, quick. If I can hear her, she must still be close by. Hello, Twigger, a giraffe. With your long neck, could you tell me if you see a green car? Yes, I see it, the giraffe says. It is getting close to a giant bird. That must be the plane that will take them back home. Help me, Twigger. I must give this little animal back to the girl. How peculiar the animal is. I have never seen a tourist like this one before. Come on, Meadow. Climb on my back. Twigger gallops, moving his long legs with all his might. Wait for us, Kiboko, Simba, and Tembo shout from behind. We want to figure out who the strange animal is too. Faster, Trigger, faster, I shout. They're leaving. My bear, my bear, the girl cries. Bear, that must be the name of the little animal. You have found him, she says. She gives me her red ribbon. For your coat, she says, and runs back to the plane. Soon, the airplane carrying the little girl and her animal disappears into the clouds. The news spread quickly throughout the savannah. That little animal, he was a bear, said the bounding antelope. A bear, wonders the old zebra, but there are no bears in Africa. He was here, I promise, answers the lion club. The first bear in all of Africa. How extraordinary, they all marvel.